Each year, thousands of migrants die attempting to cross international borders without authorization. In 2014, two-thirds of deaths were in the Mediterranean region, the gateway to Europe for those fleeing conflict, persecution and poverty, mainly in Africa and the Middle East. The biggest migratory flow is known as the Central Mediterranean Route. Asylum seekers, mostly from Syria or Eritrea, use Libya as a transit point as they head into the EU via Italy and Malta. On average, 1,500 die each year crossing the Mediterranean Sea in overloaded fishing boats or rubber dinghies run by people smugglers. Migrants on the eastern Mediterranean route are mostly from Syria. They cross Turkey into the European Union via Greece, southern Bulgaria or Cyprus. They then move north via Macedonia and Serbia to reach western member states. The Western Mediterranean route is commonly used by North or Sub-Saharan Africans hoping to reach Spain, France or Italy. Some board ferries as stowaways, others try to cross the land borders into Spanish territories Ceuta and Melilla. If intercepted by border officials, migrants risk detention, deportation or sometimes even violence. Those who reach their destination may be able to lodge an appeal for asylum. Thank you very much. Mr. Corbyn Micker, one minute, please. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Chairman. Your methods of fighting the terrorism it is just putting the oil to the fire. Listen, first, we must reintroduce this penalty. We cannot win when they can kill us and we cannot win kill them. Some terrorists are not ready to die, for example, those who killed uh, Charlie Hebdo. Second, every man should have a gun. It will not help, help in most cases, but in some it will. Three, no social benefits to the immigrants. They must work and work hard as the American immigrants in the 19th century for small money. They will not have a strange thoughts in their minds. They must work and not uh, think uh, about something. Four, no wall will stop uh, the terrorists. We must agree that there will be a terrorist. Must with it. Much, much more people die in the car accidents than through terrorists. And we don't care, don't make hysteria. And the last thing, stop the journalists. One moment. Stop the journalists. What the terrorists want? A fame, be famous, and want to sue hysteria in the society. 
si journalist must be cut off the terrorists. No photographs, no interviews with the terrorists. The terrorists must mean? be hung next day as a no-name and buried under the pig sty. And this will minimize the terrorism. Thank you very much. How is an asylum seeker defined in the EU? Asylum seekers are people who leave their own country for reasons such as persecution or torture on account of their race, religion or nationality. The EU Charter of Fundamental Rights obliges member states to protect people in need. It is also an international obligation first recognized in the 1951 Geneva Convention. What is the process for seeking asylum? There is a uniform EU system of minimal standards ensuring freedom, security and justice. For example, the initial procedure should not exceed six months. Which country has decision-making authority? To avoid sending asylum seekers from country to country, just one member state is responsible for examining an asylum application. The country is designated according to the presence of relatives. The point of entry to the EU, the place an asylum application is first made, or where a visa was granted. Who verifies the asylum seeker's identity? This is the responsibility of national authorities in charge of security and the asylum process, with the support of European agencies where necessary. What are their rights? In Europe, asylum seekers benefit from basic living conditions such as clothing, housing and food, medical and psychological care, education for children, full respect of fundamental rights. They are obliged to have their fingerprints taken, which are stored on a database called Eurodac. How is the application processed? The key part is a one-to-one -one interview between the asylum seeker and his or her case manager. The presence of an interpreter and legal assistance can be requested without charge. If the request is rejected, there is the possibility of an appeal. But, if the decision is upheld, the applicant may be required to return to their country of origin or transit. If their request is accepted, refugee status is granted. They receive a residence permit, plus access to the labour market and healthcare services.